art and science. Using uh, the teaching models of American universities, they have uh, cross-pollinated microbiology and art in a method called bioart. It's a rare art form which dates back to the 15th and 16th century Europe with similar techniques used by the likes of famous artist Leonardo da Vinci. Teaching microbiology differently. They actually look at questions such as what is life, using microorganisms and so on to create art. She believes that in this way students get a better grasp of the subjects they are studying. But for my students, um, I wanted them to engage with the subject matter that I was teaching them in a way that is different from just learning it in a textbook. So I asked them to take one of the concepts that we dealt with, which is basically to do with evolution or microbial diversity, and to um, make an artifact. I didn't say the word artwork because science students and art is not traditionally considered together. So they could make anything and um, that was then assessed, so it was a form of alternative assessment. Even human beings' tears look spectacular under a microscope. This is a painting installation by first year called Sherm Shanique, and it's about tears. And they say that if you cry, and or if you're cross, the tears look different. Or if you cry out of pain, um, the tears under a microscope will look different. Bioart has also been found in rock engravings at Driscop Island in the Northern Cape. By Lesamu Samuel DSMC News, Bloemfontein.